What's up everyone, this is Alan Paris, aka Corn Lucky, and today I'm going to talk to you about Hayate. Um, what do you have here with Hayate? You have a well-balanced character. He's not extremely fast, and he's not extremely slow either, so you don't have to worry about speed there. His speed is kind of moderate. Um, he's not really going to outpoke players or beat them to the punch if they're faster than him or just as fast as him. So he has a 10 frame jab, a 12 frame mid, and a 14 frame low poke. Um, his 14 frame low poke leaves him at neutral so you can apply this and then come up with the 12 frame mid or come up with the 10 frame high. His other poking options as well is his 4P. As you see here it tracks and on normal hit it causes a stun. Um, and this is where he can actually start applying his mix-up game just from this alone so players can't sidestep really just because of you know it tracks um, and his 1k um, is this is also a crush move um, although it's 15 frames you'd want to poke with this um, when players start leaning on the buttons too much just because it, uh, it instantly tech crouches and it will crush uh, the same thing with his 4P um, and he has his 3K at 14 frames and on normal hit as you can see it gives him plus one as well and this is more so of a tool that you would want to poke with at a distance rather than being at close just because it is 14 frames um, and Hayate by him being well balanced you can actually play him at any range he can be whatever you want him to be so you can play him at close you can play him up close just because he's not entirely slow his speed is moderate you can play him at mid range and as well you can play him at a long range um, to play him effectively you'll need a healthy mix up between all three and you'll be good to go with Hayate when you have Hayate at a mid range he has a few options he has his three free and kick he has his 214P and 214K. Um, 214K, if it's blocked, he's at plus two. Um, unfortunately, his other options are unsafe if you just leave the moves alone and not follow up with them. His 3 free and kick has a follow up. Um, his 214P as well has follow ups to them as well. And these are the attacks these are most of the attacks that you're probably already leaning towards if you realized on how to play him um, from a distance already but he also has several more options that he can go into as far as being at mid-range and he has his wind dash he has his launching mid punch from his wind dash he has a high punch from his wind dash and on block that high punch puts him at plus seven so that moves him into into the neutral game as far as moving him closer to where he can start his offensive pressure there um, from his wind dash I'm sorry I did that punch already um, he has a mid kick coming from it and he has a throw so just in case players you know they're trying to guess at what you're doing he has something to counterplay the guessing because his mix-up game is strong uh, coming from mid-range. When he's at long range, because his mobility is so good um, with his wind dash, you're never really out of the position or out of the fight because he's at the back of the screen. So when you're at the back of the screen, you can dash in and with a simple back dash, um, dashing forward, you've put him right within like the mid slash long range where he can easily be applied at with his um we can when his attacks can easily be applied um that I was showing you that he has from mid range um how you do his his back dash into his forward dash it's four p k and then you press six um after you press four p k and um he'll go into it that way you can also cancel out of his back dash just to bait players to see exactly how they're going to react to you dashing and you do that by pressing 4P and then pressing 4 again and then he'll cancel out of it so his wind dash can be used as a whiff punisher and it can also be applied into his mix-up game Hayate is a mix-up based character so um, the objective with him is to get a counter stun uh, ideally with 4P any of his poke moves 
3p um, over is 1k, uh, which, as I mentioned before, is a crush move, so it's really good to start his offensive pressure. He his stun launch game is fairly weak. He doesn't have a his damage output is not that great um, by stun launching players. So he has to play in the stun game to rack up anything big. So let's see. He had into stun launch. I'm sorry. If he stuns launches, you know, on for counter hit damage, that's fairly weak for him to stun launch. So by him playing in the stun game things that you want to do is stringing together attacks there he just did 101 points of damage and that's all from him playing in the stun game there there really wasn't a mix up applied I just did a series of jabs and punches but you can mix up anything that you want with Hayate because all of his stuns that he has on counter strike they allow him to fluently move into any poke that he wants to. So it's not hard stringing together things to play in the stun game. His throw game is also fairly strong as well. So you don't have to be reliant on just mixing up your attacks because you you'll eventually build up a pattern. So to balance out that pattern is that you start throwing players. So he has his 12 frame throw. Um that's a 10 frame throw actually, I'm sorry. He has a 10 frame throw that is uh, really good and then he has his 12 frame launching throw where he can actually continue to do chain throws in those or you can actually juggle with him. Um, change it on high counter because that's what you're going to use to bait holds and that is going to do 92 points of damage just from a 10 frame throw and if you do this you can go ahead and juggle and take the damage well off into the hundreds points of damage as far as doing his launching throw and you have the option to juggle from it and or continue his chain throws from it so that's how you want to balance out his mix-up game just so you're not too reliant on mixing up attacks with all the mix-up that um, that a Hayate has access to he doesn't have too many guaranteed stuns that he can go into and the ones that he do have you have to mix them up and condition players to be hit by them. His only one that he has that's going to hit um, just once and it's not a string, it's his punch plus kick. That goes into a bounce stun where you can follow up with guaranteed juggles from. Um, the good thing about this is as it's, it gives a bounce state even in the neutral game. So you're good with this attack and it's even one of his sidesteps, uh, sidestep attacks. Um, but it's also on safe on block, so it's nothing that you can kind of just keep chucking out there because you'll get punished for it. Um, his other one is 3PP. That gives a sit down stun, and he can launch from that. But you'll, um, it's 3, actually, it's 3PP. It doesn't guarantee a launcher but at the rate on how quickly you need to slow escape to not get launched by a launcher that he follows up with you'll have to be slow escaping immediately what I have the training dummy here now is on fastest not everybody is going to react and slow and slow escape that quickly so although that he really doesn't get a guaranteed launcher from it you're gonna launch players from it just because they will have to be slow escaping the moment that the attack touches them which means they have to be prepared to get hit by it and I don't care who you are nobody is prepared to get hit in any fighting game so hitting them with this you'll be good to go ahead and follow up with whatever launcher uh, that you want preferably this um, his 33k um, so that's his 3pp sit down and his 4KK gives a bow where he can follow up with the launcher, uh, with a guarantee launcher, um, and a juggle from that as well. But those are his only three. Everything else, so that's why you have to kind of like mix it up with it because two out of the three, um, they can be held out of. So to avoid that, you would want to go 3P and then either throw or go into some other type of mix-up like a high or a mid kick I'm sorry or a mid kick or you can uh, you can do a low 
because that lowers it gives him plus 12 he can keep up with offensive pressure there um, once you do that enough then you go ahead and bake him out with that and that's how you'll get that to work um, with this high one because it's so it's his high one is also safe 3 PP is unsafe on block this is minus 5 on block so he's good um, and as I mentioned before, punch plus kick is unsafe. But with this, you have to condition players to get hit by it as well. So if you start launching players with 4K, 4K, 6K, um, then you go ahead and follow up with high kick, mid kick. That's what the bounding, the second kick is in this string. Or some players will recognize his 4K and say, oh, a launcher is going to come from that once you have them stunned. So they'll try to avoid that and when they when you have them stun you go into that and then you put them in a bound state and go from there so those are some of the ways that you can go about conditioning players to get hit by his um, guaranteed stuns that he has by his bound his sit down stun and I wouldn't advise poking with this so in the stun game you can go ahead and go about doing it that way and that's how you would want to work his bounds and his sit down stuns another point that he has as far as him being ba a balanced character is that even on defense he's good he has um, a command sidestep and that's different than the actual default sidestep that the majority of the characters have to deal with in the game um, the side step, the default side step that's in the game, it's good, but if your character has a command side step, it's better. So by him having a command side step, players that kind of lean on the buttons while he's blocking and they're not paying attention or mixing up or checking for his command side step and they're being too linear, he can simply spin out of it and then he also has an attack out of it that will on counter hit you're gonna get it on counter strike as well because you're gonna catch them while they're whacking buttons and it gives them plus 15 even with that even if they do decide to slow escape at fastest so he can start his offensive his offensive pressure even with this great defensive tool that he has so if you're playing against someone and they're not really paying attention and they're just kinda gonna lean on the buttons and not do anything that's going to track you to keep your command sidestep in check then you can easily sidestep out of them hit them on counter hit and then go straight into your offense um, and that's about it for Hayate um, so his pros and cons would be is um, you can play him at any range he has a solid mix up game and stun um, his throws are above average he either picks up environmental damage from his throws which adds on to the throw damage as well, um, that he gets already or he can juggle from it um, and his command sidestep because not a lot of characters are equipped with this in this game only a select few have it and by him having it and it being fairly quick um, it helps him out greatly the cons some of the bad things about him is that he lacks guaranteed setups um, and not necessarily that he lacks them is that that he re, uh, he lacks them you have to set people up to do it which means you have to condition them and if you're playing in a quick set like in a tournament that may be fairly difficult to do just because so much will be going on in a fight and you really won't have the time to properly condition someone um, so he does lack that that's actually something pretty bad about him his stun launch game is not all that good so you do have to play into the stun game which is not great for some players because if you're the type of player that you want to get to big damage really quickly he's not gonna give that to you because he has to take the time to play and dabble into the stun game and mix up his throws and pretty much be the balanced character that he is um, so him being on the re reliant on the stun game is a con and another big con is that he doesn't excel at anything and because he's a balanced character you have to balance out everything it is that you do with him so although that he can be played up at close close range keeping him here at all times it may or may not backfire on you because if you go in auto, into an autopilot you know your attacks will start getting picked up people will start reading when you're ready to throw them 
and it'll just get all bad it depends on how well someone can pay attention to you so you have to balance in coming out from mid-range and then playing with him from a longer range to get people to bait stuff so you can whiff punish them so you will want a, a nice healthy mix-up to play this balanced character so um and that's about it that sums up Hayate uh, thank you guys for for watching and listening um if you guys have any comments as far as how good it was or how bad it was with this tutorial um, let me know and I will try to get better at doing this I'm just now starting out with these um, if you want to look up for any more advanced information on Hayate you can hit up freestepdodge.com and that's it thanks and I'll see you guys later